Welcome to Code with Kurt. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take two addresses and get the distance and duration using Google Apps Script on Google Sheets. And what I'm using to do that is a maps object calling a new direction finder, getting the directions. And this is where you basically put in your start address, your end address, and the mode of which you're wanting to cover. In this example it says walking, but if I go over to set mode, look at the mode choices, I get driving, walking, bicycle, and transit. In my example I'm going to be using driving. So I'll show you an example of what I'm doing here. I'm going to change the start address to New York. And I'll change the end address Bliss, Indiana. You can also put street addresses in here, uh, kind of famous locations, anything that you would typically see on a Google Maps you can put in here. I'm just going to use cities as this example. I'm going to say get distance. It's going to call my function. Here I got my start, my end, the distance, and how long it takes by highway. In this video I'll show you how I put together the scripts to get this output. So let's get started. Here I'm on a new Google Sheet. I'm going to give the sheet a name. I'll call it Map. I'm going to give the sheet a name down here. I'm going to call that Map as well. And next I'm going to do the layout of the sheet. So I got the beginning of the header record of the display of my results here. Next I'll be doing the input section. So I'll be inputting my start address here and my end address here. And the last thing I need to do is create my button. I'm going to move my button over here. And this is how I'm going to call my function to calculate the distance and duration. So next I'm going to move over to Google Apps Script and we're going to start building our function. So I'm going to go to Tools, Script Editor. I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to call this Map. So we're going to Go ahead and give our function a name. Call it get direction. I'm going to start this function by going over to our documentation here. And I'm going to go back here and start with this. I'm just going to copy and paste it because this is kind of the central point of what we're doing here. So we got our direction directions column here and we need this is our origin, our destination. And instead of walking, what we're gonna do is driving. So we got that. Now what we need to do is we need to get our input from our sheet, these two into this call. So we're going to first declare our spreadsheet. We have our mat sheet object declared. Next we're going to get our two values, our start address and our end address. So that is our start address. Next we're going to do our end address. So there we have our two variables declared. Now I'm going to move the start into here. I'm going to move the end into the destination. So now we have this declared. I'm going to get rid of the logger log thing here. We don't need this. I'll just cross it out. If you want to go ahead and debug this, you can keep it in. 
and then we're going to move on to displaying the results. So first we're going to clear our table. So with that statement, I'm just clearing these rows out below here so we can bring in our new data. Next I'm going to grab the next row of the sheet. So I'm going to find the last populated row, which is this one, and then I'm looking for this row here, row 6. So we have that. That way we know which, the, which is the next row to populate. And now we're going to take the results of this and start cutting through this data to get what we want. And the data we're going to be looking at is we're going to click here and what it looks like. The typical output is this. But what we're going to come down to is we're going to be looking at routes here, which is an array down to legs, which is an array. And the important data we're going to get is distance, duration, end address, and start address. And we're going to grab the text here. So we're looking at miles and 51 minutes. But you could use this as in meters, and this is in seconds. So it gives you a, another option if you want to go in that direction there to grab those values. But we're going to do the miles and minutes in this example. So we're going to do a for loop to cut through this legs array. Even though we're probably going to get one record to return every time, we're just going to make sure we get one record. Because if we get multiple records, we can just display the multiple records. So that's why we're going to do a for loop. So we have our for loop here, and we're cutting through the routes. We're grabbing the first route and down to the legs, and then we're getting the length of the array, which in this example it will be one. So, but we're gonna if it was two or three, we're just gonna go through each record in that array. So I'm gonna get the data from that directions object first, and then we're gonna go ahead and populate it. So now we have the four variables that we need. Next, we're going to go ahead and populate those into our table. So there we are populating using our next row and our columns one, two, three, four, and the information we need, which will populate this straight across here. So that is it. For this function, I'll go ahead and save it. And next, we're going to take our function name and apply it to our button here. Add it as a script. We'll hit OK. That is complete. Now we can hit some addresses in here. We have our two addresses. We can hit get distance. We're going to go through the authorization, select our account, hit advanced, OK for unsafe, edit to create and delete our sheet. We're going to allow, and then we're going to cancel that one, start this again, try it again, and there we have it. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. If you want to catch any future videos about Google Sheets and Google Apps Script, subscribe to this channel. Until next time.